Hello guys, this is another episode of the Film Review Podcast by me, Augie Nadia. When you come to India, you'll meet hundreds of millions of servants like me. Driver, I'm sorry, what's your name? Sir, Balram, sir. Balram, I got it. No worries. Ooh, seriously, I got it. Now I will brought another great film which is fun to discuss, The White Tiger. I'm assuming the first time you hear those words, you think of a magnificent beast, don't you? By the way, the white color of the white tiger skin is incredibly beautiful and scary at the same time, right? It is often referred to as a big cat that is strong and has deadly teeth. But before I go any further, I would like to clarify that this the white tiger I'm referring here is the title of a remarkable film. First and foremost, I will divide this podcast into three sections. The first one is getting to know the film. The next one is cinematography and the last one is the characters. The first one is getting to know the film. The White Tiger is a 2021 film written and produced by Ramin Bahrani about a rich Indian family's ambitious driver who used his intellect and cunning to overcome poverty and advance to the top as an entrepreneur. Many excellent performers and actresses from India or even Hollywood have featured in The White Tiger, including Priyanka Chopra Jonas, who played as Pinky, and Rajkumar Rao, who played as Mr. Ashok, and the main character, who is played by a rookie actor with outstanding acting skills, Adarsh Gaurav, who played as Balram. On the 22nd of January 2021, it was made available globally via the streaming platform Netflix. The White Tiger received positive reviews from critics who complimented the film's directing, narrative, and cast performances. In addition, the film was nominated for Best Adapted Screenplay at the 93rd Academy Awards. The White Tiger is based on Aravind Adiga's 2008 novel of the same name. This film is more likely to be a social reflection on the implications of India's vast wealth disparity. This enormous disparity occasionally causes instability, which frequently leads to morality being compromised for personal benefit. Although the story takes place in India, there are three distinct locations that occur in the setting of the White Tiger. The first is Laksmangar, which is the hometown of the main character Balram. He resents the life he lived there to the point of hatred, his feelings and yearning to go profoundly motivating his ambitions. The second location is Danbad, where Balram escaped to meet the landlord of his own home, where he met Mr. Ashok, the younger son who appears to be sympathetic, not like his father and brother. The third location is New Delhi, India's capital city, where he accompanied Mr. Ashok and Pinky in political games to bring down one of the parties that became presidential candidates, and also where Balram transformed his social position to become a top entrepreneur. Now we're moving to the next session, the cinematography. The film was shot professionally, utilizing a variety of camera movements, such as the over-shoulder shot to try to depict the feeling of the characters in the situation. In one of the scenes where Balram and Pinky are alone with each other, the camera shot Balram from behind Pinky's shoulder, which Pinky asks about what he will actually do instead of serving his master. Pinky tried to listen to Balram's life goals, but according to Pinky, Balram's answer is something that doesn't deserve to be a life goal. At that scene, Balram has a confused expression about why Pinky seems mad about his answer and asking himself what he really wants. Another camera movement I noticed was the high angle shot 
which is intended to make the subject or object beneath feel fragile, powerless, or weak. This type of shot is used to portray Balram after he was forced by his master's family to confess to a crime he did not do. He felt he was being treated very unfairly, but there was nothing he could do. With this type of shot, it helps Balram appear weak and to depict his loneliness and his sense of loss. I think I can only mention those two camera movements because there are actually more of it, but because of the duration, I think I cannot um, mention all of them. So now we're moving on to the last section, which is the character. Balram and Mr. Ashok are the characters who appear to be the most entertaining to watch. The dynamics of their relationship are significant because this is a film about social class and they are both representations of that class in this film. So actually, when you look at it, the two have a pretty good relationship. Ashok, who has been away for a long time, thinks differently than his father and brother. Despite the unavoidable problem, he treats Balram kindly. Balram seems to be so fascinated with Mr. Ashok that he wishes to be his servant. However, the problem in this film depicts how the two won't be able to get along, watching their huge gap and their very different social class, since it is hard to live in a democratic country such as India, especially for the poor. This film contains a back and forth plot and the entire film is a flashback of Balram's effort to rise in social status. From a taxi servant at the side of a five-star hotel to an opportunist driver with huge ambitions, Balram's facial expressions, eyes, and action have changed into two different characters. This occurred as a result of Balram's visible character development, so we can instantly see the difference from him in the plot. So, to conclude, this film is really fun to watch. You will be pleased with the incredible acting skill of all the cast. And personally, I feel a lot of emotion, like at first I laughed, then the next second I will be in a serious mode. I cannot simply choose which are the good and evil while watching this film. So overall, this film is really worth to watch. Right, this is the end of my podcast and thank you so much for listening to this and I hope that we will meet in another episode of my film review podcast maybe, who knows. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.